Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We just opened the chain that was locking the gate that allows us to go down somewhere. <laughs> we opened it with that nutcracker thing. Let's go. I feel like every time we've gone anywhere in the subway, there's Hazel Street everywhere. Hazel, Hazel, Hazel Street. Hazel, Hazel, Hazel Street. They can't all lead to Hazel Street. Doesn't make any damn sense. Speaking of... Daisy Villa Apartment 102 is carved into the key. I was just wondering if the key, like maybe Heather's apartment was on um, Daisy Street? Or was it Hazel Street? There's got to be some significance to Hazel Street. Ah, we're on the other side of this place. What do you bet the subway car is going to start moving when we get inside? What the fuck was that noise? It's a low rumbling like lion's growl. What the fuck? Whoa, what? Hold on, what was that? I have no idea what that is. So I'm pressing the sprint button. If you hold on the sprint button while standing still for like a second, Heather, I guess, gets ready to sprint. If I ready my weapon and then press the sprint button, Heather does this. What? What is that? Is that like a block? If it is, it's not much of a block. That's more like a please don't hit me kind of thing. Huh. <laughs> we can go deeper. Yay. Question is, should I go down first or in the subway car first? I'm actually going to go in the subway car first. Maybe it's not going to leave. Shotgun shells. We must be about to get the shotgun then. Gift wrapped box. Could it be a birthday present? Uh, no, I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. Should come in handy against the monsters. Yeah, that is an odd box. I guess someone left it here by mistake, but who would do that? Well, six rounds of ammunition. It's hard to handle, but it has... has great range. Great range? I mean, I know that shotguns typically in real life are are not like you see them in like, especially video games where people think shotgun and they think, oh, it's like it spreads a bunch of pellets all out and it's only good at like super close range and it's extremely inaccurate. I know it depends on the shot type, whether it's pellet versus 
something else that you know is not like a spray of multiple small pellets um and even if it is a spray of multiple small pellets i'm pretty sure it's more accurate than we usually think it is from like movies and especially games but still it says has great range like can i snipe with this thing Okay, yeah, I think it. I think when you press the sprint button while readying your weapon, I think it is a block. Because for this, like, it actually looks like a decent block using the weapon to sort of block the attack. For the pistol, it, it doesn't look like a block at all. What's here? What the fuck is that? I think it's just preventing me from going back up. God. Step ladders and wheelbarrows blocking the way. I can't get through. Yeah, look here. Hazel Street. Everything's Hazel Street. Wait, what did I say? It's just a fire door. It doesn't lead anywhere. St. Renetta College. Or is that 4th Street Renetta College? One of the two. Got a map for this too, apparently. Bergen Street. So we're behind where I wasn't able to get before. Can I unlock it from the back or something? Try Bergen Street. Okay, another one of these. This one is Hazel Street. <laughs> this one is also Hazel Street. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to go onto the tracks. Pretty sure that'll lead to instant death. I love that lighting. Some of it from my flashlight, and some of it... Oh wait, is all of it from my flashlight? Yeah, pretty much. Look at those shadows. They're beautiful. Hats off to... Well, the game developers and the PS2. It doesn't quite... like... It doesn't make physical sense. Why would shining a light make... Shining a light adds light, it doesn't take it away. A shadow is an absence of light. And when I turn this on, it lights up the area that it's facing, but it also makes the pillars, the area behind the pillars, actually darker. Which doesn't make any physical sense, but you know what, I don't care, it still looks awesome. It looks really cool. There's a door down there. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. I'll go there later. After I find the button that turns off the train.
dogs. Uh, do I want to use my shotgun on dogs? Probably not. I'm not going to bother with beef jerky, though, that's for sure. Okay, I can't- I can't see shit here. Okay, I'm taking an awful lot of damage here. Maybe I should use a shotgun. Fuck it, let's do it. There's just too many of them. If I can get it down to one dog, it's fine. Oh, that dog's down on the tracks. Watch out, buddy. You're gonna get smushed. I feel bad kicking dead dogs. Oh, can't get back up, can it? I think I'm safe. God, I hate how their head is just split open. Just an open wound. Gah. Alright, I'll leave you down there, buddy. Let's see what's up here. I want to get to the other side by going up and then over and then down, so I don't have to go across the tracks. Oh, first time I've been on this place on the map. This place is just a maze. It's a subway maze. I guess it's pretty typical for Silent Hill. Strange, nonsensical architecture that you get lost in. Um... So I can go up or down? I... I don't know where these are gonna lead. Uh, let's go up and just see where it goes. Somewhere I've been? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, that's somewhere I've been before. Okay. This would actually be a good time to save. And then I guess we'll try going down over here. Alright, now we're on this side. Wait. I remember finding a diary that looked just like that. The one, it was like an occult magazine. But I think it was in a different location, wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't. It actually might have been right here. Let's see. I read this a long time ago. Occult magazine. Okay, yeah. This place is so confusing. Right. Now I'm on this side. Okay, let's explore this side. I'm just, I'm kind of doubtful that this is going to progress anything. I still want to explore it. it could be items or something like, yeah, there's a health drink right there actually. But I could have accessed this before I did any of the stuff I just did, right? Before I... 
could have accessed this before I um, opened that thing with the nutcracker, so... That's why I'm like a little bit hesitant. Oh, whoa, 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 a little bit hesitant. I almost went onto the tracks. <laughs> you don't instant die when you go on the tracks, but still, scary. Fuck, that weird ass noise again. Yeah, this is the weird ass noise place. Okay, this, uh. Wait. Wait, what the hell? This goes up? Let me point. This goes up, but this goes up too. What the fuck? Does this make any physical sense? Uh... Yes? I guess? The other side comes up from here. They both lead to the same place. Okay. Sure. I love the bizarre architecture of Silent Hill. Um, I'm gonna have to go on the tracks if I want to go around. <laughs> okay, let me do a save stage just in case I insta-die. <laughs> okay, the only thing I can think of to do at this point is try to go for this door back here and see if I can do it without getting smushed. Got out of the way? Got out of the way in time? Sorry, doggies. Still hear a dog. I think that dog, though, is the one that's stuck on the tracks on the other side, so I don't think it's anything to worry about. It's the very, 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 very back of the train. Right here. So, like, I went here, and then I found my way here, and then I realized if I want to get behind this thing, I gotta go up here, and then down here, and now I'm here. Whew. Oh, cool, we're actually moving in the train while the train's moving. That's really cool. There's a newspaper on the seat. Same old boring articles. Whoa! Oh. Uh... Why did it let me do that? That's such a weird breaking of its own rules. Because normally when you walk up to an edge, you just kind of like, you know, you get imbalanced and the controller vibrates and Heather's like, oh god, weird. Okay, we're back here. Empty juice can, just another piece of trash.
Let's not throw ourselves off, but... I do want to appreciate just how cool of a shot this is. Oh, even the controller is vibrating, too. Wait, the controller is still vibrating. Oh, I guess just it's just vibrating from being on the train. Newspaper on the floor, nothing but garbage. Oh, it's a save point. I thought it was just a pool of blood. Symbols drawn on the floor. I hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. Yeah, is it the same symbol from the original game? Because the symbol in the original game was actually from... It was from Alessa, right? Which is, like, kind of basically us. Or who we used to be, anyway. I think the symbol was actually to protect themselves, wasn't it? Which, if so, means that it, they're a good thing, but it could be a different symbol. I'm not sure. Magazine on the floor doesn't look very useful. Uh, hmm. There's two of them. I think I'm gonna try a melee weapon, though. God, those noises. Through blood, does it leave bloody footprints? It does. That's a cool touch. Ugh. I don't like this cart. Whoa, this one's bigger. I'm not gonna stop swinging. Okay, maybe I'll stop. to see them come in different sizes. Nah, we're still blue. Pretty good on health. Maybe I shouldn't be doing the strong attacks to start with, because they tend to get an attack on me before I get an attack on them and stun them. So maybe I should be doing this to start with, and then do strong attacks. Juice can again. Ooh, shotgun shells, first aid kit. What is this? It's not a thing. What is that? Like, I have no idea. It sort of looks like a very weird seat belt, but that doesn't make any sense. There's another one. Hmm. There's a lump on the floor. 
It looks like it's made of flesh. Oh! It's another one of those big things. It's definitely alive, though. Maybe I can run past it? It's definitely gonna wake up when I touch it, though. Uh, melee is probably not the way to go for this thing. Shotgun if needed. Yes! Not needed! Doors won't open. Besides, there's no conductor seat beyond here. The old patterns painted in here among the graffiti. Looks like it was just put here, too. But by whom? And why does my hat... I was wondering where we are. It says, Platform Unknown Station. I like that they don't spoil the location with the save name. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to find out what unknown station we're at. <laughs>